Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the compliance in circulatory system. You know that blood vessels have elastic fibers in them due to which they have the ability to distend. As pressure rises in them, the walls of the vessel distend. As a result, the volume is increased. The ratio of change in volume with pressure is known as compliance of the system. The compliance of a system is related to its size and elasticity of its walls. Greater the initial volume and elasticity, greater is the compliance of the system. Dear students, the venous system is very compliant. That is, a small change in pressure produces large change in volume. Similarly, large change in volumes have little effect on venous pressure due to greater compliance of the venous system, it acts as a volume reservoir in the circulatory system. That is, volume change does not significantly change the blood pressure. Dear students, in comparison to the venous system, arterial system is less compliant. Due to this less compliance, arterial system acts as pressure reservoir. This is necessary for maintaining capillary blood flow. Agar arterial system be zyada compliant hota, to iska natija ye hota ke jab uh, diastole ki phase aati, to phir pressure bilkul fall kar jata. Lekin arterial system ki com kam compliance ki wajah se pressure maintain rehta hai aur capillaries mein blood flow diastole ke dauran mein bhi jari rehta hai. However, some portions of arterial system are more elastic and more compliant. For example, the portions of arteries near the heart. This compliance of arteries near the heart helps to reduce oscillations in pressure due to contractions of the heart. When the heart ke muscles contact karte hai, ya ventricle contact karta hai, then there are changes in the pressure. The changes in the pressure will change the effect of 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 the the maintenance of flow in distal arteries during diastole. 